going on, my friends? Sean Pierce Johnson here with a very special edition of Stompbox Saturday that's coming out before Saturday. Why are we doing this? Well, we need to welcome the newest member of the Walrus Audio family, and that is the Emissary Parallel Boost. It seems like every pedal company at some point in their history tries their hand at a boost pedal. They come, they go, some are simple, some are complex. But I've never seen one quite like the Emissary, where they have several boost lines and circuits running parallel to each other, and that you can adjust the mix between them so that you can fine-tune the overall sound of the effect. And I think the Emissary does a great job of it, and for its simplicity, it does everything very, very well. So let's go ahead, throw the pedal up on the screen, take a look at what we're working with. You can see it's pretty darn simple. Two knobs, one two-way toggle switch, and your foot switch. Awesome. I love simplicity, and this is it. So you have a knob for bright, which is going to be like a JFET boost, which usually is very amp-like, but this one has an emphasis on the high end, so you get a little, little bit of sparkle on there. And then you have your mid-boost. Now, the cool thing is the mid-boost has selectable frequencies. Right here in the middle is the toggle switch. You can select between 1,000 hertz, 1 kilohertz, or... 800 hertz so that's that kind of mid-range area that'll get you that kind of honky mid-range sound uh you know that kind of thing sorry glenn i cut the mic sue me why don't you anyway so very simple there you set your sound and of course the foot switch why do i bring this up because well for one it's a very soft foot switch but because of that you can press and hold and it acts as momentary which I think is is pretty cool. So although we weren't we are not going to be able to really do that here in this demo today because it's on a platform and not on the floor, uh, just know that you can do that. So before I show you some of my favorite uses for it and the settings that I really like, let's listen to the range of the boost. <laughs>
Okay, here's a sneaky little thing that I like to do with Emissary, and that's use it as a sort of frequency taker outer. <laughs> I know that sounds really stupid because that was really stupid to say. <laughs> that the emissary is really useful for fattening up single coils and let's face it as much as we may love our strats and tellies their thinness can leave a lot to be desired but mid-range is the magical fat frequency range so what we're going to do is use emissary as sort of a single coil enhancer if you will so let's check it out <laughs> to it it sings a little bit more and makes it a little bit more fun to play if you ask me but another area where this can really help is when you're using a crunch sound you know the thin sounding single coils kind of cut through distortion in a way that well most rock guys like me don't like and this is pretty much what we start out with <laughs> And a lot of people tend to think if you just roll down the tone knob that that's going to basically solve your problem. And it does a fair job, but it doesn't really fatten things up. It just rolls off the high end. That's not really what we're looking for. Come into play, Emissary, please, and bring me that fatness.
my friends that is the emissary parallel boost from the cats at walrus audio as far as a concept for the pedal i totally dig it the parallel boost lines that you can blend however you see fit that's right up my alley and something that i might like to see expanded out into other frequency ranges but then again i guess that would be an eq pedal just musing to myself most likely I will be using this as a mid boost it's just so simple to get that vocal quality for leads I'm pretty sure seven to eight out of ten times I'm going to be using it for that purpose but having said that having that bright circuit is very handy for someone like me who favors mahogany guitars dark tone sounding tone woods and dark ish sounding amplifiers a little extra high end is nothing to be afraid of but yeah, I think it's pretty cool and I love the simplicity and I can't thank Walrus enough for sending it my way. But I wanna know what you all thought of Emissary. You can let me know your thoughts in the comments below or share what your thoughts on Instagram at Stompbox Saturday. And hey, don't forget to click the floating subscribe bubble when you see it because another episode of Stompbox Saturday is coming up and I promise it will be released on a Saturday. Anyway, thank you so much, my friends, for joining me this week. And until this Saturday, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson, and I wish you all great tone and happy stomping. Cheers. Cheers.